Welcome back, Rich Minds. This your boy, Reno, coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be the things that you go through as a chosen one. Yes, sir. Let me say a lot of for the people in the back. Listen, y'all, if you are a chosen one, I'm about to give you the things that you're going to go through. These type of things are going to happen simply when you are a chosen one. You're going to have to understand that it's nothing personal. It's just a part of your, it's a part of your journey. Okay. It's a part of your path. It's a part of who you are. And see, anybody who's strong, they got to go through this. Yes, sir. Anybody who's chosen, they got to experience this because your life is different from the average person's life. You're not the regular diggler. Okay. You ain't the ordinary Jerry. I need you to realize something. You are a chosen one. So I want to lay out the things that you're going to go through on this chosen journey. All right. So I need y'all to tune in, tune in, tune in. And also, if any one of these signs resonate with you, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and be sure to comment. I'm a chosen one. All right. So the first sign is going to be spiritual warfare. All right. Look, I need y'all to take this serious and listen to what I'm saying. I know I speak about spiritual warfare a lot. But it's serious. And as a chosen one, you're going to go through spiritual warfare. Yes, sir. So let me give you an example. All right. As a, as a chosen one, when you're going through spiritual warfare, your spirit just, it won't align with other people's spirit. Okay. It's not going to align with their spirit. Why? Because they understand and they know and they see the chosen anointing on side you. They see the anointing and the chosen in your spirit. They see it. They see that you was handpicked. So what happens is people understand who you are. And they're like, I don't want to be around them for no reason. See, it's a spiritual battle. It's a spiritual war that you're going to encounter every single time. It don't matter if you go to Walmart. It don't matter if you're going to school. It don't matter if you're going to the job, right? At the end of the day, they know that you're going to be somebody. See, you're not at your last stop. They at their last stop. It's just like a train station, right? It's just like a train station. When the train station is going, they, uh, when the transit is going at that train station, it's going to stop each and every one of the stops. It's going to stop at each and every one of those stops. Each and every one of those stops, right? And see, some of these people are at the last stop already. Some of these individuals don't got nowhere else to go. They're at their last stop. Okay, and they see, here go you passing through. They see that you passing through. So what they do is they're going to try to make that time, that little bit of time that you there. All right, they're going to try to make that little bit of time that you there the worst that you ever been through. I need y'all to realize something. As a chosen one, you're going to go through more spiritual warfare than a lot of other individuals. And also, let me break this down to you. As you're going through spiritual warfare, your mind is open. Your eyes is open. You are... You're susceptible to it, right? And what I mean by being susceptible to it, you see what other people don't see. So for you, it kind of makes it a bit worse because you you know exactly what you are experiencing. Some people go through this, and they just like, oh, they just tripping. They some other people go through this, they don't even know exactly what's going on. They're just passing through their regular day. But what make it a bit worse for you, I guess I would say it's a gift and a curse. It's a gift because at least you have the discernment and at least you have the knowledge and wisdom to understand exactly what it is. But it's a curse because now you've been exposed. Now you've been exposed. Okay. But I need you to understand something. This is going to be a big one when you are chosen one. You're going to go through a lot more spiritual warfare and it's going to probably be a little bit worse because you know exactly what's going on within this time of spiritual warfare. But this is a part of your chosen journey. All right, so the next one, number two, you will be tested. Yes, sir, right? You're going to be tested. Your battles is going to be a bit tougher. Once again, when you are tested, you're going to have to go through certain things that other people are not going to have to go through. Think about it. When you see, when you think about the story of Joseph, did, every, did any one of his other brothers have to go through that? Right? Did any other of his siblings have to go through the same thing that he went through. Did they? No. That's the, the answer is no. Why? Because he was chosen. So when you're chosen, you're going to have to go through chosen things. When you're chosen, you're going to have to walk that chosen path. See, the thing is, it's going to get greater later. As I always state, it will get greater later. But the problem is 
when you're chosen, you're going to have to go through ridicule. You're going to have to go through tribulations. You're going to have to go through trials. You're going to have to go through people persecuting you. You're going to have to go through all these things. So in the midst of going through this, see, God already know your final destination. He already know the prophecy that he put in your life. He already know the decree that he put in your life. Yes, sir. I, look, if I'm talking to you right now, I need you to come into the comments and say, I hear you. All right. If I'm talking to you right now, I need you to understand and say this in the comments. I hear you, Reno. So check this out on your path. OK, on that path, you're going to be tested more than the average person. You're going to be tested. So not only are you going through spiritual warfare, but you also going to be tested. For instance, when you look at Noah, OK, when you look at Noah, I think it took Noah um, over 100 years to build that ark. But guess what? It was a test. All right. What, what, how was it a test, Reno? Listen, if, the, if it wasn't a test, then how is it that it took him to have faith to believe in the ark that God told him to build? If it wasn't a test, why did he have to have faith in something that he didn't even know? He didn't even, all he had, all he went off of was the word. He went off of that spirit. He went off of that discernment. He went off of the fact that God said, look, I'm going to make this happen. I'm choosing you to make this happen. Okay. I'm choosing you to make this happen because I'm about to do something great, but I need you. I need to work through you. Okay. Listen to what I'm saying. He was being tested. Why? Because in the midst of you building this art, it's going to be people telling you that you're crazy. Uh-huh. It's going to be people telling you that you need to give up. It's going to be people telling you that you should stop. It's going to be people telling you that you show sure God wants you to do this. <laughs> All right. All right, bro. That's what he wants you to do. That's what he wants you to do. You're going to do you and I'm going to do me. I'm going to be over here eat my cheeseburger. That's a test. Because as a human being, you get to thinking to yourself like, bro, is this, is this right? Is, am I tell, is this true? Am I tripping? Right? You'll start checking yourself like, am I tripping? And the answer is no, you're not tripping. You following the word. You following the anointing. You following your chosen path. So what I mean is when I say you're going through tougher battles, yeah, you're going to be tested. You're going to be tested. You got no choice but to be tested because you have to be proven of being worthy of the blessing that you're going to get at the end of this test. All right. So as a chosen one, this is a big thing that's going to happen to you. Your chosen path is going to cause you to have to be tested because you got to be prepared. You got to be prepared. You got to be fortified to withhold and sustain that blessing that you're going to get at the end of this test. And that's facts, y'all. All right. I need y'all to tune in. So number three, number three is you're going to receive the most hate. All right. Yes, you're going to receive the most hate by being a chosen one. People can see it on you. See, what happens is you, you begin to be a walking light. You start carrying the light. But guess what? It, a light is just like when you shine it on, on them roaches. You know what I mean? Them roaches. And so when you shine that light on a roach, right, them bugs, when you shine that light, they go to scattering out. What happens? They are exposed now. Okay? And that's the same thing with how you move and carry yourself. See, you carry yourself with that light. And as that light is shining through you, you're going to expose people. Not because you're just going to start telling their business. No, not because of that. You're going to expose them by your spirit. You're going to expose them by how you move. You're going to expose them because, see, here's the thing. One thing about a filthy, spirited person, they can't stand to be around somebody who clean. Why? Because cleanliness is next to godliness. Why? Because a person who is clean is closer to God. If you're filthy, meaning in spirit, you are closer to the enemy. So a lot of people are going to be exposed to your light because they don't want to be exposed to who they truly are on the inside. As a chosen one, you're going to go through this. So you're going to receive the most hate. Why? Not because they hate you because you, you got the new J's on. Now, probably somebody may hate you because you got new J's on. All right, we're going we, we're gonna to throw it out there. But for the most part, People are going to hate you because they see the chosen spirit and the anointing on you. You're going to receive the most hate than everybody else would, right? Just like when you was in that classroom. Just like when you was in that classroom. And, you know, you just mind your business. You did everything how you were supposed to do it. You wasn't doing, you wasn't trying to cause no trouble. You was being who you were. You was being who you was called to be. 
And what made it even worse, you as a child. But guess what? You received the most hate. Why? Because you received the most attention. Why? Because people seen the potential in you. People, adults, teachers, the principal, they seen that they seen that they knew the potential that you had inside you. And so what happened is the other kids, they sit back like, oh, he think he's special because they keep calling him to the office. You a teacher's pet, right? And that's the same thing inside of real life. When you start getting all this attention, when you start building up your social media platform, people not going to like that. You're going to receive a lot of hate. When you start, you know, getting this attention, when you building a business, you, you know, they're not going to like that. They're not going to like that. You on your chosen path. So you're going to have to realize and understand that you're going to receive the most hate. That's as simple as it is. You're going to receive the most hate as being the chosen one and walking on your chosen path. All right. Number four, y'all, betrayal. I like to use this analogy, right? Jesus would never have got to his uh, destination or gotten to his destination if it wasn't for Judas. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. Jesus would have never got to his destination if it wasn't for Judas. Although it was a decree, he needed somebody to assist with that decree. What do I mean? Let me pack that. Let me unpack that and break it down for you. So as Jesus was on his earthly, you know, journey, fulfilling his earthly duties because he had to die for our sins so we can live again, which is salvation. We had to live so we can, you know, live again. He died for us because he knew that we were going to sin. So what happened was. He was going through each and every day, each and every day, living the destined path for himself. But within that destined path, he needed somebody to elevate him and lift him up so he can get to his destination, meaning so he can build, re tear the temple down, rebuild it back up in three days, let people know that, hey, I have been resurrected. Now I'm going to live with my father. I am here. I am him. So don't think it's a game, okay? So Jesus needed Judas to get the way he was going. So what do you mean by that? What I mean is, it's going to be some people who are going to betray you. But you need them so God can turn your enemies into a footstool. You need them individuals so God can turn your enemies into a footstool. See, I need you to realize something. Don't worry about that person who committed adultery on you. They're going to reap what they sow, but not only that, you're going to have a better wife, a better husband. Don't worry about that job who fired you to hire somebody else new and you was a great worker all right I ain't talking about somebody who you know came to work late all the time was unreliable couldn't trust you I'm, I'm not talking about that type of worker all right I'm talking about the person who was responsible accountable came in on the, on the day on the days that you really shouldn't have you had you had other things to do I'm talking about that person who ain't that that situation that happened to you that you didn't even have no control over. I'm talking about that person. You're going to go through betrayal, but guess what? You think that it's a it's only a dark shadow right here, but really you're being leaded into the light. In actuality, you're being leaded into the light. So I need you to be, I need you to understand this, right? Don't be weary and worried about the betrayal because the betrayal going to happen. It has to happen. You're a chosen one. It has to happen. When you're a chosen one, you're going to attract Good souls, bad souls. You're going to attract good people, bad people. You're going to attract negativity and positivity. You're going to attract that. For the most part, your energy is going to attract good things. But what happened is, being that you are a light, it's not going to only attract good things. It's going to attract bad things as well. So what I'm saying is, as you're going through this journey, you're going to be betrayed. Now, being that being that you have wisdom, or you may or you may be gaining your wisdom with that understanding, guess what? You'll probably minimize that. But guess what? Jesus was wise as well. Jesus was wise as well. So, and he still got betrayed, although he knew he was going to be betrayed. But the case in point is, as a chosen one, you're going to have to go through betrayal. It's you know, it's it's not something that you can really put up for the bait. Like, nah, I think I want to keep my good friends right here. I don't. No, that's not going to happen because whenever you're becoming something greater, a person of value, you're going to be betrayed, period. Because the enemy has to work through those who are closest to you. Has no choice. And you got to realize that in your journey, your chosen path, you will be betrayed. 
Yes, sir. If y'all tune in, y'all under y'all picking up what I'm putting down, y'all make sure y'all drop in the comments. I hear you, Reno. Alright? And so this gonna be the last one. I need y'all to tune in. Number five, the last one is gonna be in a long period. All right, you're gonna go through a long time where you feel like you don't got nobody. You're gonna feel like you don't have anybody to depend on. You're gonna feel like don't nobody, it like don't nobody get it. You know what I mean? Like don't nobody get it. And I need you to realize something. That's completely normal when you are a chosen one. You you have to go through an alone period because that alone period is only making you spiritually stronger. All right, that alone period is only making you spiritually stronger. It's making you mentally stronger. It's making you emotionally stronger, financially stronger. It's making you stronger in all aspects. So as you are going through this chosen path, you're going to have to realize, you're going to have to understand, it's okay to be alone. I know, I know. Some of y'all probably done grew up with family. Y'all done grew up with brothers, sisters. Y'all done grew up with mom, dad. And that's okay. I understand that and I realize that. But see, you're going to have to realize sometime in order to get to that place that God has for you, you're going to have to not necessarily isolate yourself, but allow life to separate you. Allow life to do it. You don't got to sit back and isolate yourself and just say, you know what? I'm going to just isolate myself. I ain't going to talk to nobody, call nobody. I'm going to block my number, change my number. No, I ain't saying that. What I'm saying is allow life to separate you momentarily. And for some people, you may have to cut them off for some people. But for the but for the most part, what I'm saying is I like God to work through you, talk through you so you can get to your calling and your purpose and become something great out here in this world. Right. And as a chosen one, you're going to do that. You're going to get to that destination. Why? Because that alone period is going to allow God to talk through you. See, when you got a person in your right ear, when you got a person in your left ear, when you got the TV on. When you got the, you know, your laptop on, when you got music on, he, how can God talk to you? You preoccupied, all right? You preoccupied, so you got to understand that in this alone period, utilize it. Utilize it. I know you're a human being, so naturally, we need company. We want company, right? Even in the Bible, it says, you know, a uh, man seems lonely. Let us create a woman for him. So he put him in a deep sleep, took his rib, created Eve. All right. So I understand that part. I get that part. But being alone is not a bad thing. It actually helps. It helps with a lot of things. And most importantly, it's going to make you stronger. So these are the things as a chosen one that you will go through. But look, I, listen, I need you to understand something. Don't panic. This is only confirmation that you are a chosen one. So if you're listening to me right now, make sure you drop in the comments, put, I am a chosen one. Yes, sir. Also, you can hit the links in my bio, check out one of my books, whether that's Rich Mentality, Eight Steps to Self-Publishing a Successful Book, Traumatized by Love, or Failure Equal. If you want to join the Patreon, join my community, be sure to check that out. And you will get the books for 30% off if you join those, if you join my Patreon as well. You'll also get an exclusive video. If you ask me a question, I'll make sure I do you a personalized video. Yes, sir. Just for you. As well as a patron shout out. Look, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace.